Hi, I'm Jackie, and you've tuned in to Jackie and the Other Side of Beauty. If this is your first time here, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed today's video. And if you're returning to the channel, it's always good to have you back. In today's video, I am doing a Get Ready With Me. I am going to be featuring the Sweet Tart Cravings palette. That's how this look came about. And I'm just going to be using the products in my Shop My Stash. This was a good month. I've used just about every single product except for two. And I will be using those products this week. So if you want to revisit my Shop My Stash with me and see how I was able to get this look, then you'll have to keep watching. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into today's look. I'm trying to make sure I have crumbs all on my face. Probably popcorn between my teeth. But I did have a meeting that I had to go to today. So I put all of my serums, my uh, sunscreen, my moisturizer on. Did my eyebrows. I, I just did a little light makeup. Nothing really spectacular. So what I'm going to do is take up my makeup removing towelettes and I'm going to go ahead and remove what I have on. And I'm just going to put a moisturizer on. I actually have a little sample that I wanted to try. I didn't know I had this one. So I'm going to use this sample that I have. But first I'm going to remove. I didn't have any um, foundation or anything on. I just, I think I just had powder, but I did have some um, concealer on and maybe a little something in the crease. Something in my eye. Before I forget, because I know I will. I want to mention to you guys, I forgot to comment when I was doing my recommendations. I forgot to make a comment about the Rare Beauty Mascara. It is a hit. So if you don't have that in your cart, you've been wondering about it, that is a good mascara. Retails for $20, which is, you know, they're definitely cheaper mascaras that I like to use, but... I would get it while the Sephora sale is going on if you're interested in it. It is a really good mascara. I remember on the first time that I used it, I wasn't impressed. Second time I used it, I wasn't impressed. But the third time, I you know how sometimes a uh, new mascara feels like it's a little thin. I think you guys are... Feels, uh, the formula feels a little thin. But like the third time I was using it, I was sold. So... That is a good mascara, and I'm so happy that I pulled it uh, this month. Okay, so the moisturizer that I want to use for my face is by Fresh. And this is their Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Cream. And it says it's the anti-wrinkle and it firms. This is the sample right here. And we're just going to put a little bit of this on. See how I like it. I've never tried this before. Ooh. Dang. Just shot across the table. It's a kind of a thick consistency. It's not a gel moisturizer. Very hydrating. I can see that off the bat. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's very hydrating. Okay, so I can have a couple more uses of this. I like the way it feels going onto the skin so far. Okay, so remember when I was telling you guys that 
my allergies were just messing with me. Um, this is still, my skin is still, you know, looking horrible. The face is, a, we have a lot going on. Like right here, I don't know what's going on with this, but I have, I re, well, let me just say, I have this going on right down here. You see how it's raised up? And it's a little bit lighter than my face. And then we have this right here that is similar to this on my eyelid. And another something right here on my eyelid. So this right here is really the one, the, the main thing. Even looks like I'm getting something over here on the eyelid. I don't know if you guys can see that one right here. So I don't know. Sometimes I think it's from makeup brushes. Just, you know, when we're just going in on your eyelids. Um, sometimes, you know, I know I'm done two back-to-back -back looks and just going on. Not to, to say that my makeup brushes are really all that hard but sometimes we are using firm brushes sometimes we're you know trying to get right up in that crease right here and carve it out so i'm not sure if it's just from me being abrasive with my brushes or just you know just the wear and tear of you know the brushes going across my eye um i really don't know what would have caused this because I don't feel like I'm abrasive with my makeup right here. But I do know I see some, I don't know, I don't know, maybe elderly people I've seen. Heck, that, that's almost me. But, <laughs> you know, uh, just more elderly than me. <laughs> I've seen them have something like this on their eyes. Sometimes they get it you know, like right here in the corners maybe, but I've seen that and I don't know if that's hereditary or what, but that's what's going on. And so my eyeshadow doesn't look good. That's why I just wanted to pull all matte palettes, but today we are going to use this Tarte palette and this is called Sweet Tarte Cravings. And this is what the palette looks like. I thought we would try to use this today. Yeah, just see where it takes us. Um, I'll insert some swatches of it. Well, I have my makeup cloth right here, so let's go ahead and do it. I don't want the video to be that long. That's why I'm trying to, you know, hesit hesitate. So we're going to go across, across, and across, okay? So we're going to start with this shade right here. And there are no shade. In oh, yes, there are. Yes, there is on the back. Oh, got it. Okay, so this first shade, yeah, this first shade, I believe, <laughs> is called Champagne. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so this is the first row. We started with Champagne. The next shade is called Truffle. And the next shade is called Drizzle. Okay, here's the first row. And again, we have Champagne, Truffle, and Drizzle. This middle shade is a kind of a light shade, but it would be kind of a good shade to use for your, for beneath your brow bone. So here we are. Now the next row, this row right here, um, we should have Rich, Semi-Sweet, and Salted Caramel. Okay, so this should be rich, semi-sweet, and salted caramel. Let's swatch this. Okay, here we have rich, semi-sweet, and salted caramel. This palette smells so good. And this is our last row right here. 
and we should have dipped, it's hard to read it upside down, dipped raspberry swirl and ganache. So this is dipped raspberry swirl ganache. Okay, here we go. Dipped raspberry swirl and ganache. So here are the shades in this palette. Very pretty. All of them swatch really nice. This middle shade was just a little light, but like I said, that will be such a nice shade for beneath the brow bone. So I'm gonna wipe these off and let's go ahead and get started with the look. I'm probably gonna set you to music and then we'll come back on and we'll talk about the products that we use in my shop, my stash, because the month is fastly approaching to a close. So I do wanna be able to review these products. So let's get started. I went ahead and put some primer on my eyes. I put Groundwork Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. I'm not wearing Painterly because I feel like Painterly really emphasizes um, the things I have going on on my lid. So... We're not using that today.
going to go in with my ColourPop lip liner. And this is in the shade Tulips. Just going to line the lips lightly. I actually think I have a lip liner that would match a little bit better for what we're going to go for for the lips. I think I'm going to grab that one because this is not really what I want for the lips. Okay, good. My pencils are right here. I should have known that to begin with. I think this... This is the Give Cosmetics Look Liner in the shade Scarlet Red. This may be one that I want to use for... This one by Beauty Vault. Um, I don't know what shade this is. It's called Carmen. That's probably a pretty good one. Or <laughs> this is this is. This may be one. Okay, let's see which one. Um, because I'm gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks lip color on my lips because you can use it on the lips and on the cheeks. Just trying to see which one would go best. And actually, I think this one by Give Cosmetics. This is by Beauty Vault in the shade Carmen. That's what that one looks like in the future. And this one is Poison by Colourpop. So actually, Poison, I was hoping this would not be the one because this one will be scraping my lips. Let me see if I can. So we'll use this shade right here. Oh, my neck hurts. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Danessa Myricks blush. And again, it's for the lips and the cheeks. And it's called the Yummy Skin Blush. And it is in the shade Prima Donna. And we're just going to tap a little bit on our lips. And I think we made the right choice in the lip liner that we use. I think it blends in perfectly. And these are the eyes. I think this look came out really pretty. Um, again, <laughs> you know, this is to me not standing out so, so much. And I felt like this was standing out when I went in with that metallic shade on top. That's why I don't know about the metallics anymore, you guys. I just felt like this was, the metallic shade was just making this stand out even more. Now, the little patch we have right here, I don't think you can see it as much. And this one over here, same thing. But this, I felt like it was like a spotlight. 
but it is what it is. And so let's discuss really fast the um, products that we used in today's video. I held most of them up so you can see them. Um, of course, you know the star of the show was the Tarte palette. And again, this is called Sweet Tarte Cravings. This is still on sale, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. But again, one last look at what it looks like. These shades are very nice, and you can see how pigmented they were. And let's see. We did the, I'm just going to go in order. We did the um, eye primer, and I've never used this uh, shade before. I've only had Painterly, but this one is Groundwork. Painterly was sold out. I was thinking about getting that one, but it was sold out, so I went ahead and got the MAC, the MAC Paint Pot. And you guys know, I use the MAC Paint Pot all the time, so this was nothing new. So I enjoy using that. Went in with that, the palette. And then we did our face. We did the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. And we also did our Makeup Forever Pore Minimizer Step 1 Primer. And this is just what I use for my pores. Then we went in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I have shade 5.5. Love that. Went in with the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. I am in shade 50N. Use that. I've used it a few times. For bronzer, oh, I don't know why I was still thinking I used my Morphe bronzer. <laughs> For bronzer, I used my Fenty Beauty bronzer, and this is in the shade Coco Naughty. I used this to bronze up the skin. After we bronzed up the skin, I went ahead in with my Danessa Myrick Yummy Skin Blush, and again, this is in the shade Prima Donna. I like it on the lips, and I like it on the cheeks. For the highlighter, we went in with Sophia and Mabel, and this is in Peach Sangria. This is what it looks like right here. Oh. And we just opened the yummy skin up so you can see it again. Okay. For my concealer, I use the Huda Beauty. This is the hashtag full filter concealer, and I have the shade Peanut Butter. I use my e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I use it as a contour, and this is in the shade Sunkissed. For my powder on my face, I went ahead and used my Huda Beauty Powder, and this is in the shade Blondie. And I also used my Charlotte Tilbury Powder. Here it is. And this is in the shade 4 Deep. This is the powder right here. I also sprayed my face with the Fenty Beauty Makeup Refreshing Spray. As well as, I know you guys are so proud of me, the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I think, oh, I also use my eyeliner, which is by Essence. It's a long-lasting eye pencil, and this is in the shade, oh, and this is a waterproof um, eyeliner, and this is in the shade Black Fever. For my eyes, I also use my NYX Glitter uh, Primer. And, oh, for my eyebrows, I did use my Rimmel London Eyebrow Pencil, and this is in the shade Black Brown. And you guys, I, oh, and also, I don't know if I mentioned it or if I deleted it, but this Rare Beauty Mascara is the business. It retails for $20. 
the Sephora sale is going on right now. This is such a nice mascara. The first time I used it, I was like, eh, I wasn't crazy about it. You know how you open a new mascara and it just seems like it's thin and it takes coat after coat after coat? Well, that's how I felt about this one. Second time I used it, I wasn't, you know, still blown away. But when that third time came around, I started liking this mascara and now I love it. So I am going to pick up another one of these from the Sephora sale. So if you like this mascara, if you've never tried it, I would put it in my cart because this is a great mascara. And this is in the shade black. I like it a lot. And I think those are all the products that I used for today's look. Now, the only other, I mean, I've used just about all the products in my Shop My Stash. As a matter of fact, I have used every single product. And I really felt that this month I didn't pull a lot of products. I didn't over pull because we were already into the second week. And so I felt like, you know, two weeks already gone almost. So I wanted to... Um, just pull enough products to get me through to the end of the month. So I feel like I didn't just over pull as far as products. And with that said, I was able to get through every single product um, in my shop, my stash, with the exception of, I haven't used the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place, but I'm positive that I will. I will be focusing my efforts on this palette next week. So I haven't used this one yet. And what else? Oh, and I haven't used my Tarte Glow Wand because I feel like it's going to emphasize that little spot on my eye. So I don't want that glowing. So I haven't used this Tarte Glow Wand. But looking through the rest of my Shop My Stash, I have used every other product in here. Everything except for the two that I just mentioned. So I've been really loving this Fenty Skin Tint. I've been really liking that a lot. But I have used my Sephora uh, foundation a couple of times as well. So yeah, we used everything except for two products. And I'm sure that I will be using those this week. I may even still try to do the Glow Wand. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. But guys that completes today's video i wanted to go over the items that i pull from my shop my stash plus i wanted to especially do this eye look for you guys with the tarte palette um, like i said i know it's still on sale smells divine and it has such good pigment so you know if it's something that you're interested in you should consider picking it up and this right here what was it? The Fresh Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Cream. It says it's good for wrinkles and it firms. This is very hydrating and very moisturizing. So I did like this, you know, I like a cream. And this is a, you know, kind of a thick cream. This will be perfect at night because in the summer, you know, I used to be all about the cream life. But I can also get on with the gel moisturizers as well. So actually, you know, this to me just screams nighttime but it felt very nourishing on the skin so that does complete today's video if you did enjoy seeing how i obtained this look please consider subscribing to my channel giving this video a thumbs up and ringing the notification bell it just lets you know whenever i upload a video and don't forget to share the channel because you know i don't mind and lastly please know that each and every one of you are always welcomed on my channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, my friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.